We are wrapping up the 2004 regular season on the 40 year sim on today's episode. I am Nutty Sports Gamer. We'll be checking out highlights from playoff contending teams, teams hoping to make the playoffs, teams with MVP candidates, the works. So let's get right into it. First game, the Chicago Bulls, Seattle Supersonics. Both teams trying to sneak into the playoffs. The Bulls have made the playoffs since 99. They got Scottie Pippen before the trade deadline. He's back. You got Jay Williams passing to Zach Randolph, who makes the jumper right there. It's a tie game at 88. Mahmoud Abdul Ralph. He's going to miss the basket, but Kirk Thomas is there for the putback dunk. Here's Scotty Pippen passing to Zebo in the post. Zebo doing his work over Kirk Thomas, tying the game at 90. Mahmoud Abdul Ralph. With the three, that's good. And the Sonics take a three-point lead with 35 seconds up to go. Jay Williams passing it to, the looks like Jason Richardson who misses. Scott Potter with the rebound. Now with 26 seconds left, intentional foul. And the Sonics win, 96-93 is the final score. Zebo had 19 points in the loss. We are rolling, moving on, Rockets, Trailblazers, both playoff contenders, Desmond Mason misses the jumper, and the Trailblazers looking to make a basket, make this a one possession game with 2.13 left to go. Sharif Abdur Rahim will miss, but Birdman with the put back. Two point game, Ben Wallace misses the shot there. He was acquired before the trade deadline as well. And now we got Damon Stoudemire handling the ball, passing it to Abdurahim. He gets it to Rashid Wallace for the basket, tying the game at 99. Desmond Mason for three. No. Ben Wallace with the rebound, the pass to Glenn Rice. And all of a sudden, the Rockets uh, regain the lead. How about Shrew for Abdurahim passing it to Rip Hamilton? At the wing there. Rip Hamilton is going to miss the three. Rebound. Ben Wallace. Rockets. Can they seal the deal? Can they get this victory here? Desmond Mason passing it to Brevin Knight. To Elton Brand. To Ben Wallace. Wallace. Can he make the basket to get them a two possession lead? He can't quite do it. He misses the dunk. So now the Blazers have a chance with 23 seconds left. Stoudemire with the ball. Passing it to Abdurahim. Back to Stoudemire for the jumper. He misses. And we got an intentional foul. 106-99. The Rockets end up winning this game. The, 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 the Blazers had a chance there, but they just could not seal the deal you know they, they had a chance to tie it up but just didn't have to rip Hamilton at 20 points during him at 18. Boston Cleveland Cleveland the playoff contender despite losing Scottie Pippen via trade Celtics are one of the best teams in the east you got Billy Owens making a shot for the Celtics Billy Owens been in the league for a while he's a veteran small forward comes off the bench for the Celtics now we got Lamar Odom to Billy Owens again. He's gonna try a three. He's gonna make the three. 103 100 is the score now. Billy Owens again? No way, dude. Yeah, come on. Lamar Odom go though gets he gets the rebound. He gets the put back. And now it's a 105 100 score. Throw Brandon. Will miss that jumper. And now the Celtics. Gonna try to expand their lead. Lamar Odom with the alley oop. The exclamation point. How about Odom again? No thank you. Rebound Cavaliers. Gotta love this court, right? It's pretty snazzy, if you ask me. Reggie Miller throw Brandon. Who 
He's gonna make that three, making it a two-point game. Brandon, can they tie it, Tyrone Hill, to Chris Mills? He's now in the starting lineup. Now that Scottie Pippen is no longer there, and he shows you why he deserves to be in the starting lineup with that jumper. Tie game at 107. And now we have Jamal Tinsley. With the bait jumper there. Clutch, very clutch. Tinsley, first year starter, been in the league since, uh, what, he was drafted in 2001 by the Celtics. And they have developed him to becoming a, a starting point guard for them. And the Celtics will win this game. Final score, 115-109. And Laura Odom at 24 points. And now we're checking out 76ers versus the Magic. The Sixers are awfully good. The Magic are also a playoff contender. Sean Kemp was traded to the Sixers before the season. And he makes a basket there. I always knew this Philly squad had had something. They could do something interesting. They just needed a dynamic power forward. They got him in, in, in Sean Kemp. So, anyway... <laughs> I blame that. Marcus Camby with the basket there in the fast break. Check out the replay of Camby. And now we got Eddie Jones to Nick Van Exel. Marcus Camby again over to Sam Cassell. He'll take that matchup any day. Do the Magic have any fight in them? How about T-Mac with a dunk? That, that's something. How about Grant Hill with a dunk? Man, who's leaving the, the paint open like that? Where's the rim protection? Van Axel misses the three-point attempt. And, uh-oh, the Magic might have something special brewing here. T-Mac with the basket. It's a five-point game. Can the Sixers stop the bleeding? Who is that? <laughs> Number 18 misses the three. I should know who that is, damn it. Uh, T-Mac with the slam, and it's a three-point game. Holy smokes folks 97-94 the magic get the rebound Sam Cassell pulls up misses the shot intentional foul wow 101-94 is the final score there the Sixers they didn't really show much there but they had a big enough lead that they could withstand a little run there by the magic but uh, yeah Sean Kemp's numbers have gone down a bit but he's still been really good for the Sixers team. Well, sh well, I'll show you the standings for March 1st in a little bit, but uh, yeah, he, he's he, he's been a huge addition to the squad. Now let's check out Memphis Bulls, 95-94. This is the only time we'll, uh, this season's the only season where we'll see this court for Memphis because they're gonna move into the FedEx Center next season. And we got a layup by Jay Williams to start things off. Three and a half minutes to go, Vince Carter to Theo Ratliff for the dunk. And how about Jalen Rose with another dunk. 101-96, Mookie Blaylock with the floater. No good. Ratliff with the rebound. Grizzlies up by five, 212 left to go. White Chocolate, Jason Williams to Jalen Rose. The Ratliff for the dunk. Seven point lead. Feels like the Grizzlies pretty much got this one in the bag. Let's see if they, we can go out with something fun. Oh, how about a Scotty Pippen steal and a dunk? Whoa. Okay, but it's over there. It's over. 105 98. That was fun, but uh, the Bulls lose. 25 and 16 for Keith Van Horn. 21 for Jay Williams. 18 for Lorenzen Wright. Moving on to Clippers. Heat. These are also. Uh, a couple of playoff contenders. Stojakovic with the layup for the Clips. We're in Miami. Stojakovic really becoming, uh, is he starting to become the number one option on this team? Maybe. 98 90. This is for now. We got Gary Payton still doing some special things in Miami, but he misses and the Lonzo Morning gets the put back dunk. How about Penny Hardaway from the charity stripe, making it an eight-point game. Gary Payton to Morning, the classic duo. Morning misses, though, again, 
but finally gets it in that time. 100-94, Corey McGetty, who was acquired uh, a little a couple, a couple weeks ago via trade. He misses the shot. Clippers. You got Larry Hughes pulling up for the jumper. Missing Chris Webber with the book back. This game's over 106-96. The Clippers win convincingly in Miami. 24 for McGetty, 24 for Stojakovic. Back to the Magic, this time against the Atlanta Hawks. And we got Chauncey Billups with the layup to start things off. 94 and 90. Trace and Grady now is going to make that jumper despite being guarded pretty well. Here he is missing a jumper, but getting his own rebound and making the basket. So it's a tie game at 94. Allen Iverson to Chauncey Phillips for three. That's good. Three point lead for the Hawks. Less than three and a half left to go. Grant Hill is going to pull up for a long two. And we got a one point game with three minutes left to go. Allen Iverson missing. But Tim Duncan right there correcting his mistake. Making the basket. Then 96. Iverson missing. This time we got a rebound. PJ Brown. And now the Magic get to tie this game up if they can. How about a three from T Mac to tie the game? Hawks ball. Hawks possession. Chauncey Phillips to Allen Iverson. Guarded by T Mac. Let's see if that phases AI. Uh, it doesn't. He needs clutch. As hell. 101, 101, though, is the score. It's back to a tie game. And this time, Iverson will miss. But Tim Duncan gets the rebound. And Chauncey Phillips with the three. How about that sequence? The Hawks will win this game. 106, 103, 27 for Sam Cassell. 30 and 17 for Tim Duncan. We've seen these two teams already in this video. Let's see them face each other this time. Milton Brand making a basket for the Rockets. We're facing the Heat. Ty Gimmick 91. Got a miss there by Gary Payton, but Alonzo Mourning with the putback. Elton Brand guarded by Rodney Rogers. Doesn't matter. He makes the shot. Gary Payton at the wing now. Guarded by Brevin Knight. Gets the screen. Makes the shot. One point game. Ben Wallace. Elton Brand, who is double team, don't matter. Three point lead for the uh, Rockets. Now we got Gary Payton pulling up for two. Sinks the jumper. 98 97. Cora McGetty is going to make this layup. Very nice. And the Heat take the lead. Less than two minutes left to go. Desmond Mason. Passing it to Ben Wallace for the dunk. Now it's a Rockets one point lead. Brevin Knight to Rice to Mason. Mason for three. No good. Elton Brand with the rebound and the basket. Rockets with the ball yet again. Mason, top of the key. He is going to pull up for the jumper make it and the Rockets just might seal the victory let's see if the uh, if the Miami Heat can do anything here we got Alonzo Morning guarded by Ben Wallace makes the shot draws the foul can't say it's over quite yet can we Alonzo Morning at the free throw line let's see if he makes this makes it a, a two point game he does make it so now the Rockets. Big possession here. Mason misses. Rebound heat. Hold on. 20 seconds left. Gill to Corey McGinney for three. And the Heat take a one point lead with 15 seconds left. But there's still time. The Rockets could do something special here. Win the game in Houston. Desmond Mason. 4-3! No! The Heat! The Heat will pull it off thanks to the heroics by Corey Baghetti at the end. 31-16 for Alonzo Mourning. What a finish by the Miami Heat. What a game overall. Let's go back. Let's, let's, let's go to Minnesota. 
Minnesota versus Utah. We haven't seen these two teams yet in this video. We got Jermaine O'Neal making a basket for Mini Soda. Charlie Ward with the ball, passing it to Chris Kamen. He's going to miss once. Missed twice. Jermaine O'Neal with the rebound. O'Neal to Stephon Marbury with the alley oop to Antonio Davis. 85, 87, 84 now actually is the score. 35 seconds left to go. Iso Joe to Charlie Ward for three. That's good. Time the game at 87, 30 seconds left to go. Stephon Marbury dribbling. He's going to pull up for two, make the shot. We got a two point game, folks. Look at the Utah Jazz. They have some magic here. It all comes down to Iso Joe. What can Iso Joe do? He will attempt a really difficult shot and miss. Come on, Iso Joe. Eventually, I, I think eventually. Yeah. He's still pretty young. He's going to get it right one day, just not today. 89-87 is the score. And 24 points uh, is what Stefan Marbury had leading the team. Uh, 23 and 13 for uh, Jermaine O'Neal. Sean Bradley had 12 points off the bench. Morris Peterson had 7 points. 22 for Iso Joe. 12 for Ray for Austin. Clippers, Lakers! Let's do that! Two hated rivals. Penny Hardaway with the jumper here for LA, the Clippers. And then we got Churchwell to Penny Hardaway with the turnaround jumper. Missing Jason Hart with the rebound. Kobe to Shaq, making it a four-point game. But can they stop the Clippers for a possession? We got uh, Stojakovic with the long two. He makes that, and there might not be much to see here because the Clippers are going to win. 107.99. Don't worry, we'll we'll see those teams plenty. In the playoffs, so check out the standings. The Hawks right now, 42 and 15, the three-game winning streak. They're looking awfully good. Number one in the East. Get the Celtics, 40 and 17. The Sixers, 40 and 19. Then the Magic, the Pistons are in the middle of the pack. The the Heat seem pretty safe at 30 and 26, but you never know. Then the Bulls in, in, at the seventh spot, 30 and 27. Cavaliers hanging around 20 and 29. The Nets are two games below 500. The Bucks are five games below 500. Like the Raptors, the Wizards, the Pacers, the Knicks, and the Hornets way down there by having Dwayne Wade. Lakers are 42 and 13. Still the best record, but they've they won six out of the last ten games. They're not quite as dominant as they were in the beginning of the season. Grizzlies 39 and 17. Clippers, 37 and 20. You got the Rockets, Blazers, Wolves, Jazz. Wolves, Jazz are below 500, but they're still at the six and seven spots. And you get the Sonics, the Nuggets, uh, and the Warriors trying to fight for that last spot. The Warriors have really fallen off, lost six in a row. But that's what the standings look like. And let's get back into some games. Nets, uh, Celtics, Paul Pierce for the basket there. Steve Nash. Can't make that shot. And Tony McDice gets the pull back. Put put back. Put back. Okay, Paul Pierce with the jumper. Can't make it. Sean Leonard with the rebound. And now Matrix Sean Marion to Leonard for the dunk. 98-94. 5.40 left to go. We got a missed jumper by Paul Pierce. Rebound. Nets. Steve Nash handling the ball, zipping it to Sean Marion for the, for the nice basket there. Six point lead for New Jersey. Paul Pierce guarded by Sean Marion. Tough matchup for, well, not for Paul Pierce because the truth makes the basket. 100 to 96. Up to jacket. Getting hot in here. Mario Odom. With the rebound there, passing it to Jamal Tinsy for three. That's good. All of a sudden, one-point game. 102-101.
256 left to go. We got 20 Kukoc out there. Nice to see him. Passing it to Antonio McDice. Makes the turnaround jumper. Nets staying ahead of one of the best teams in the East, like we just saw. Paul Pierce missing. Couch with the rebound. He's probably at the end of his career at this point. Probably close to retirement. But he's out there in crunch time. Nice to see. Steve Nash. Head on the ball now. He's going to pass it to Kukoc for three. Yes. And that might be enough. Let's see. Lamar Odom. Bad miss right there. Horrible miss. That was just terrible, as Charles Barkley would say. It's going to be for the ball. He gets it. He dunks it. And this game, folks, is quite over. The New Jersey Nets trying to get that eighth seed in the playoffs. They beat the Celtics 111-104. Those are the types of games you have to win if you want to make the playoffs. Pistons, Raptors, Mashburn with a dunk for Toronto. We haven't seen the Raptors much this season. Uh, they haven't given us much to, to look at, unfortunately. Kevin Garnett with the basket. Baron Davis guarded by Bibby. And Davis is going to make that shot. Take it a 95-93 score. Check out the replay. Some nice spin moves. And he makes the basket. Carlos Boozer wearing number one for some reason. I don't, I don't, I don't change it because I don't really care that much. It's just kind of weird. Uh, Tina Mobley with a three. 98-95. Mike Bibby to Mobley. Pal Gasol with the screen. Mobley with the jumper. 195. Raptors look good, but they're a couple games below 500. Mashburn with the jumper. They look good on screen, I gotta say. They haven't given us many close games to jump into, unfortunately, this season. 24 and 19 for Kevin Garnett. Kevin, uh, the Pistons are, you know, a shoe for the playoffs at this point. I think they're, last time we checked, they were 33 and 23. The Raptors are, are a few games below 500. But they look good. They look good when we jumped in. It's a, it's a shame. That they will, they were, they're very likely to miss the playoffs unless they go on some sort of incredible run. But it just doesn't look likely at this point. But don't, just, I wouldn't hold my breath if I was a Raptors fan watching this video. We got the Cavaliers, we got the Nuggets, we got LeBron coming to Cleveland, and we got a made shot there by Reggie Miller, Vin Baker in the post, passing it to Steve Francis who makes that shot. Tie game at 102. Vin Baker passing it to Steve Francis. Close to the basket. Posting up Terrell Brandon makes a shot. Check out the replay of Franchise. Stevie Franchise going to work on Terrell Brandon. 104 102. Reggie Miller missing. Reggie Evans with the rebound. And we got LeBron. To Steve Franta Francis Francis I almost messed that up I actually I just did miss that okay anyway block shot there by the Nuggets Finn Baker to Tim Hardaway who's out there now making that shot 110 104 does LeBron James make a basket at least on screen no he's deferring to Steve Smith who makes that layup and LeBron maybe he just didn't want to you know, he, he felt bad coming back to Cleveland as a, as a Denver Nugget. Uh, and he just passing the ball a lot. I don't know. Nuggets won, though. And we got Chris Webber making a basket here for the Clippers. They're facing the, the Portland Trail Blazers. Rebound Birdman there. Clippers. Rip Hamilton missing the jumper. Rashid with the putback. 92-88. Rip Hamilton is going to get a screen, make a jumper, six point game. Penny Hardaway to Larry Hughes for three, count it. Rashid Wallace to Sharif Jareem, makes that shot. 96 91 now. We got Abdurahim. To Damon Stoudemire. And Stoudemire will make the jumper for the Blazers. Get the Clippers cut into this lead. Divac with the 
put that gunk there. Rip Hamilton to Sharif Adurahi for three. No, but Birdman is there for the putback. That might do it. And it's a 1 of 298 uh, final score. The Blazers won. Back to Detroit facing the Timberwolves. Two playoff teams here Kevin Garnett to Latrell Sprewell for three. It's a 195 score. Now 102.97, Stephon Marbury. Grabbed by B. Diddy. And now he passes it to Shaq. Not Shaq, Jesus Christ. Jermaine O'Neal. Come on, buddy. Barry Davis making the shot there for the Pistons. It's a five point game, the Trust pretty well. Getting blocked by Jermaine O'Neal. And the Wolves have a chance here to do something interesting. Stephon Marbury to Jermaine O'Neal. He will miss. And we're likely going to get an intentional foul. No, we're not. Kevin Garnett with a dunk. That's it. I think we can officially call this a game. 106-101 is the final score. Pistons beat the Wolves. Kevin Garnett beats the team that in real life he played for for many seasons. 35 for Stephon, Stephon Marbury, though. Here's a nice look at Latrell Sprewell. Maybe he'll be the, the cover athlete of this video. Time will tell. Cleveland, Utah. We got a, a basket there for Cleveland. Ty Gibbon, 98. Tayshawn Prince with the miss. Three-pointer. Reggie Miller, 37 years old. Missing the three-point attempt. And... Here come the Utah Jazz going the other way. Joe Johnson with the basket there. Baseline jumper. Back to a tie game at 100. 103 left to go. Chris Mills nearly loses the ball, but then he attempts a shot. This is that. Here come the Jazz. Joe Johnson to Kenyon Martin. Iso Joe to Kmart. 104-100. The Cavaliers. Terrell Brandon. Misses the shot there. Rebound, Chris Kamen. And we got a uh, final score. Uh, I missed it. Oh, 106-100 is the final score. Checking out the awards. I didn't realize we were already here. Okay. Yeah, season's over. Shaq won MVP. He ran away with it. I mean, no surprise here. Uh, LeBron James, Rookie of the Year. That's also not much of a surprise. And he looked good on screen. Uh, for the most part, although he didn't really do anything in that Cleveland game. He passed the ball. He had some nice passes, though. Clifford Robinson, sixth man of the year. He's on the Grizzlies. Got traded to the Grizzlies midseason. And he he messed around and got sixth man of the year. So good for him. He's, his numbers are kind of ridiculous. His free throw percentage. Kevin Garnett, one defensive player of the year. He's crushing it. Still. Tayshawn Prince, most improved player. That's nice to see. And then Dominique Wilkins, who's coaching the Lakers, by the way. You can see the he won coach of the year. All NBA first team, Jason Kidd, Gilbert Arenas, Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, and Shaq. That's the first team checking out the second team right now. Stephon Marbury, Tracy McGrady, Dirk Nowitzki, Sharif Durheen, and Vin Baker. And then the third team, you got Steve Nash, Kobe Bryant, Sean Kemp. Rashid Wallace and Alonzo Mourning. Nice to see Rashid get some respect. And then let's move on to the defensive team. Jason Kidd, Gary Payton, Gary, uh, Kevin Garnett, Andre Kirilenko, and Shaq. So Kirilenko's starting to get recognized for his defense. Eric Snow, Gibbard Arenas, Tim Duncan, Rashid Wallace, and Alonzo Mourning make the all defensive second team rookie. Rookies? LeBron James, Merle Anthony, Dwayne Wade, Carlos Boozer, and Mehmet Okur. First team, Kirk Heinrich, Chris Kamen. Chris Bosch, Jose Calderon, and Michael Petras on the all-rookie second team. So that's, that's that. Let's check out the standings now. Standings, league leaders, then playoff bracket. The Lakers, 63-19. and 19. So they ended up going on a pretty nice run there to win 63 games. They had the Grizzlies and Clippers, both the 54 and 28, but the Grizzlies had the, the tiebreaker. Trailblazers, Rockets, the four and five seeds. Jazz made the playoffs first time since 1995. J 
Timberwolves are back in the playoffs. The Nuggets are back in the playoffs. First time in a couple of seasons. Uh, Le- LeBron James, to Steve Francis, Ben Baker, they made the playoffs. The Warriors really fell off. They looked strong in the beginning of the season, but they fell off, unfortunately. Hawks have the one seed in the East. Celtics uh, lost a the tiebreaker there. They have the two seed. You get the Sixers at 57-25. Magic and Pistons, both 49-33. Then you get the Heat at 45 and 37, Cavaliers and Bucks 41 and 41. New Jersey Nets just missed out on the playoffs at 40 and 42. They got to do some soul searching there because at this point in Steve Nash's career, he can't be missing the playoffs like this, right? I mean, come on, he can't be missing the playoffs like this. They got to get they got they got to get it together in, in New Jersey because uh, I'm getting a little impatient there. Because they, they won, I think they won 52 games last year. Things were, things were looking good for New Jersey. I thought they were going to take a, take another step forward, but uh, they took a step back. And they're out of the playoffs, so yeah, we got to figure out what's going on in New Jersey um, and try to fix some things there. Because Steve Nash, at this point in real life, he's almost on the verge of winning MVP. So we can't, you know, I want to, I want him to at least have a chance to win an MVP in this in this sim. Bulls 38-44. They missed the playoffs. Scottie Pippen, unfortunately, they they actually fell off pretty hard after March first uh, and missed the playoffs. Raptors thirty eight forty four, Pacers won thirty games, Wizards won twenty nine games, and then below them, I think you have the Hornets and Knicks. Hornets at twenty eight and fifty four, and then the Knicks below them, I think they had what twenty wins, twenty and sixty two. I think is what the the Knicks had. So that does it for the standings. I think we missed some of the bottom feeders of the West. Um, but that's pretty much the standings. And I think I, I think I wrote down the standings. Um, yeah, so if you want to check the 40 Years Sim doc on Google Docs, I have it linked in the description below. You can see, you can see all the information that you need. Uh, hopefully I have it updated by the time I uh, release this episode. So I, I, I've been stacking. But you can see the Shaq led the league in points. Check out the top 20 here. Jerry Stackhouse at 24, 21 points per game. Uh, and now in uh, rebounding category, Kevin Garnett won the rebounding title. Shaq had 13.6 rebounds. Tim Duncan had 13. Checking out assists now. Steve Nash won the assist title. Nick Van Exel not too far behind. Jason Williams. Nine assists per game. Jason Kidd, Tony Parker, Gary Payton, uh, Stephon Marbury, all with over eight assists per game. The steals title goes to Jason Kidd. The blocks title goes to Kevin Garnett. I mean, it's easy to see why he won the Defensive Player of the Year. The rebounding and the, and the, and the, and the blocks. Okay, guys, here are the matchups Lakers, Nuggets, Kobe. And Shaq versus LeBron James. We got that first round matchup. That's a really fun 1 8 matchup. Then you got the Blazers versus the Rockets, Clippers versus Utah, and then Memphis versus Minnesota. In the East, you got the Hawks, Tim Duncan and the Hawks versus Dirk Davitsky and the Bucks. You got T Mac and the Magic versus Kevin Garnett and the, and the Trump Sprewell and the Pistons. Sean Kemp in the 76ers facing Alonzo Mourning in the Heat. And then you got Paul Pierce and Ray Allen of the Boston Celtics facing Reggie Miller and the Cavaliers. Some nice matchups. Some nice matchups uh, indeed. And uh, what do I, what do I want to do now? It looks like I, I, I left some time to do something here. Uh, but uh, yeah. So yeah, it's just some predictions. I mean, I, I feel like the Lakers, they won 63 games. You know, the West, do the West have any teams that are strong enough to take down the Lakers? We'll, we'll, we'll find out, but uh, it's looking tough. Whereas in the East, I feel like the Hawks, the Sixers, the Celtics, even the Magic, or the Pistons. I feel like any one of those five teams can make it to the finals. So I'm really intrigued by the East. Uh, the, 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 the West also has the Clippers and the Grizzlies. Uh, but the, the, the Lakers just seem to be uh, on a different planet right now. But 63 wins, ran away with it in, in the West. We'll see. We'll see how it goes in the playoffs. 
Oh uh, yeah, I wanted to show you the total points at this point. Reggie Miller is 7th in points right now. He's got over 30,000, which is pretty interesting. David Robinson is also pretty high up there. We've got, um, who, else is, who else that's still in the league that's on this list? Len Bias still in the top 25. It's a bonus. Shaq, Shaq has made it to top 30, so. Shaq has a real chance to, to get to the top 10, maybe even better, considering where he's at in his career. He probably has, what, a couple of, like, seven or eight more seasons left to go. So, yeah, he's, he's uh, got some nice numbers there. Sean Kemp. Sean Kemp is right below him, too. Larry Johnson. Mookie Blaylock. Top 35 in scoring. You got Marcus, John, Marcus Johnson. Uh, Alonzo Mourning. Scotty Pippen in the top 40. Uh, Reggie Lewis, he's actually still around. He's playing. He's on the Pistons. He's on their bench. The uh, Charles Freewell in the top fifty. How about that? John Starks as well. Got uh, Bob McAdoo, Tim Hardaway. Never Bob, but I was thinking Bob McAdoo as if we, he wasn't in the sim. He was definitely in the sim. Tim Hardaway just outside the top fifty. We got Petrovic still on this list. Ben Rice, Gary Payton, Ron Harper. Yeah, Kendall Gill. Kendall Gill is in the top 100. Yeah, that might not last. We'll see if he can stay in that list. Uh, Earl Monroe, Kenny Anderson, Danny Ainge in the top 100. I don't remember. Uh, oh, yeah, Jason Kidd. Uh, Reggie Theus. Lou Hudson wasn't in. I don't think I ever saw Lou Hudson or Calvin Murphy. Uh, but definitely Sadiq Moncrief, Ralph Sampson, Penny Hardaway, obviously, he's still in it. Kelly, Kelly Tripica. Fun, fun to see these names, some of them that I haven't thought of in a while. Dina Raja is, is on the list. He's still in the league of the Pistons, I think. Or no, he's on the Knicks. Reggie Miller is really just blowing the doors off. Three pointers made. We'll see if a guy like Steph Curry can come around and, and, and break that record. I'm sure he can, but man. He's got he's gonna have his work cut out for him for sure. BJ Armstrong's on the three pointers main list as well. But yeah, I've said this before, but it's fun to see this list because obviously it's a bunch of 90s stars, 2000s stars, and we're gonna see more and more 2000s players take this list over. The 2010s players, right? The players who are prominent in that era uh, are gonna take over too. Tim Lakeler's on this list a bunch of times. For, I, I don't I don't know what that's all about. But a couple of seasons, this won't matter, right? Because this will—he'll just be off the list altogether. But uh, yeah, yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see how some of these names that we see will probably won't be here in a couple of seasons, especially by the by like 2015, 2016. I'm sure we'll see uh, some guys who are drafted in the late 2000s start to take over that list. Rebounds, Will Chamberlain. I don't think anyone's catching up with Will Chamberlain. I don't think there's any chance of that happening. Uh, the top five is, yeah, never mind. Assist, I, I moved on already. John Stockton is still first place in assists. Gary Payton, though, he's, he's got 10,000. Ron Harper's got 10,000 as well. That's pretty fun. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. The playoffs, next episode, rounds one and two are going to be in the next video. I hope you're looking forward to that. I am Nutty Sports Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Goodbye, everybody.